Hello everyone, this is JPL back for another MLP review, and today I'll be reviewing the Equestria Girls movie. Now to start off, I'm going to say that um, I really, really, really dislike this movie with a passion. This movie here. Um, reasons being... Well, the first main reason that we have ponies turning into humans. Now, normally this wouldn't be like a bad idea, but we've come to this point on TV and movies where... Sorry, a bunch of teenage kids playing out there, um, to the point where almost every show has to have the same concept of an episode or something, and the concept is, for this one, is uh, you have a character that turns into, uh, one, either a human, or two, a another animal. In this case, it's ponies becoming humans. But, besides that, annoying cliche um it's actually okay i mean the designs of the characters are pretty nice and they do work okay for the most part um and then next let's see what's another thing i don't like basically in total it, i don't like how everything's almost cliche-ish. Like, the whole high school, and then there's the prom of some sort, and then there's the guy, and then there's the villain with the two goons, and then in the end, the villain learns the lesson, and sometimes it becomes good. That's the cliche of it all. Um, but, okay, so what do I, what do I think? The school... I'm not sure if I like this school setting, although, of course, this is a kids' movie slash TV show, so it makes sense why we have childish things. Um, and then, Flash Sentry. <sighs> I really don't like him. Flash Sentry in my opinion, is just a really forced character. He has no character to him, no personality. What we know from him is, one, he's a guy, he plays guitar, he drives a car, and he likes Twilight. That's about four things we know about Flash Sentry. That, and he's a royal guard of some sorts. Um, the thing that these movies need to do with Flash Sentry is that they need to give him a personality or of character. I would be totally fine if they gave Flash Sentry his own backstory movie. A movie like that would be really awesome. And then the cliche is he loves the main character Twilight, which I don't like. And also he dated the villain, which happens to all people who start dating villains as boyfriends. It's it's a stupid cliche. Um But I really don't like the love inter inter interaction between Twilight and Flash Sentry, because there's literally no chemistry there. Like they know absolutely nothing about each other. I mean, all Twilight knows is that Flash Sentry's a guy, he goes to that school, he plays guitar, he drives a car, and he likes Twilight. What does Flash Sentry know about Twilight? She's a girl. She's purple. She has magic wings. She can sing, and she is the friends. And she's a princess. That's basically it. 
They know nothing about each other. There's no romance behind it. So that's what I don't like it because that makes no sense why they should be get, be together. I mean, if there's actual development on their relationship, then it makes sense. But this thing is just non-realistic. Um, let's see. Sunset Shimmer. Um, I don't like her in this first movie because she's one, another cliche villainized character who rules the high school and has the two guys who follow her are stupid and they compliment um, and they want to challenge the person to win the crown through a stupid prom thing. Uh, really, I really just don't like it. It's terrible. All the writing in this is too cheesy and cliche and terrible. It's just terrible. Now, what things do I do like it? I like how they retold some things in human form. It's not the same thing. It's They're the same character, but they're not the same people. Um... And I like seeing each character of the ponies into humans, and uh, what else do I like? I love how that we have multi-dimensions, which they need to do more in development of that. And, yeah, there's that. See, what else? So there's really nothing else that I'd say that I don't like about it. Otherwise, it's non-realistic to how we function in this world. It's highly cliche in how all the plot goes. And everything just seems rushed. Um, and yeah, so to rate this movie, I would rate it a uh, 6 out of 10. Um, yeah, this movie really sucks and I don't like it, but I watch it multiple times. I don't know why, I just do. So, I have nothing else to say about this movie, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.